Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to Texas travel and Lone Star State Eats. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we start off our adventures with some big old pieces of beef jerky. Now you can go all over this state and find all sorts of different styles when it comes to this salty and peppery beef, but in the small town of Post, we came across a place that's been doing its own unique style of this Texas treat for over 50 years. In the South Plains of Texas, where cotton is king, is a town that has a connection with a cash crop you crave in the morning. Post, Texas was founded Post City in 1907 by serial tycoon Charles William Post. But in the post-post world, Post is now all about two things. Football. It's all about football here. Jamie Hernandez used to play for the hometown Antelopes, but now he has a connection to the other prized export here, Jackson Brothers Beef Jerky. That old Sasquatch dude can't hang with our jerky. <laughs> <laughs> now before you go starting a big old beef with Bigfoot, it's probably best to back up your claim. Well, at Jackson Brothers, it's not called world famous for the fun of it. Nice day. Yes, sir. Just looking for jerky? That is a meat snack. So all day, every day. People love it. Now we've tried all sorts of jerky while traveling across Texas, but the beef sticks here are a bit bigger than most. You don't find this at the grocery store, do you? <laughs> no. That's beef jerky? Mm -hmm. Jackson Brothers originally got its start as a meat locker and butcher. Started by brothers Bo and Jim back in the 60s, Jamie's father, David Hernandez, and his cousin, Joe Rodriguez, bought the business they worked at since the 70s from the brothers back in 2000. To where he's at now, to have a successful business of her. It's an honor to him to be my dad. It's a pretty, pretty neat deal. He gave me the opportunity to be take over for this what I enjoy it. I enjoy all my life work is working. Together, they've kept up with the tradition of this time-honored process of procuring smoked meat. Since the camera's rolling, I came all the way from Fort Worth to buy this every week. Nice. Every yeah. week? Mm -hmm. Wow! <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> the recipe, it's maybe got tweaked here and there, but it's been the same for a long time. And they've kept it the same. Because around here, it ain't broke. I mean, when you walk in here, it's 1970. So everything's old. And it's a lot of stuff is original. We're slowly but surely, we're having to replace a lot of it, but they're trying not to, man. I'm telling you, anything you change on these guys, it's like, like world changing. You know? We don't want to change their world, but Jamie was nice enough to let us into it and gave us a quick course on how the beef sticks are made. Well, this is where it gets started, huh? Yeah. Basically, this is where the guys start off with a round and that's where they get the jerky out of, raw jerky, piece by piece. That's the process right there. Wow. You guys have thick pieces of jerky. It's different. <laughs> it's not it's not just store-bought jerky. It's definitely different. That's what makes it stand out from the rest of us. Holy moly, you're not getting a whole lot of pieces of jerky out of one piece of meat. No. Once the massive strips of meat are hung, it's time for pepper. This is where we pretty much spice the jerky up. Okay, okay. It, um, you've seen, of course, you've seen the first process. This is where we put it in pepper, hang it up, and then it goes to the smokehouse. I mean, it's a pretty simple little process, but yeah. mastered it pretty good. This right here is the plain jerky. Okay. And that's the pepper jerky. These are massive chunks of meat. How much does each one of those weigh? Man, what about? Half pound? Half a pound, and that'll, so that'll Fine, shrink I, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll age out, it'll dry out. It loses about 40% of his live weight. Okay, so after he's done hanging, he goes through this beautiful mixture of just straight pepper. Straight pepper. So it's got a little pepper, a little bit of curing mix as well. Is it normal to see jerky so doused in pepper? Because you guys just get it everywhere. No, it, I mean, it's normal for us. That's <laughs> what makes us different. It makes us better than everybody else. If you like pepper, it's the way to go. Pepper and smoke. We well, smoke it in hickory. Oh, where's the smoker? Rub, rub, rub behind. Okay. All right, so you pull the meat in here and then into the smoker. In the smoker. This is the last process, man. All this goes on individual hooks, and by tomorrow, we'll have some fresh jerky. There's only one thing left to do. Jerky time. Holy moly. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That looks beautiful. Wow. Tastes like a piece of steak. Exactly. Doesn't taste like jerky. No. Technically, this is dried smoked beef strips, but jerky. Wow. It looks like it'd be overly peppery, but it's not. No. That meat is so thick. Mm -hmm. You get that. That is like something you need to have around the Christmas snack area, you know? Yeah, well, you put it in Bloody Marys, you put it in anything. What my in-laws do. Wow. I like it. Jerk, jerk kills everything. That's the way to roll. Mm-hmm. Be baller with your big old 
Be a piece of beef jerky inside your Bloody Mary and still do it. Once this catches on, Jackson Brothers Beef Jerky will be an even hotter commodity in the state that loves its beef. Hopefully we can keep the doors open forever. As long as the jerky's flying through, then we should be all right.